Hey everyone, welcome to the LM Guitar Corner. Today we're gonna have a look at the mono gig bag that I recently purchased. So what few of you maybe know is that I'm living rather close to Lucas and for that whenever I come to him I go by foot and this is why I needed a new gig bag because the old one I've used for my 335 was an older acoustic one mm -hmm. and the buckles were not in the best shape anymore mm -hmm. so for safety reasons I've decided to go with a new gig bag or in this case a uh, mono case because they don't call it gig bag they call it case okay. due to its stiffer enclosure and yeah, I've decided to go with the double case from Mono, right here. You can see it's a rather it's a big, big boy, big boy here. <laughs> and yeah, let's have a closer look at it, right? Yeah, it's it's a special double gig bag or case because there fits a semi hollow in it, right? Yeah, on the top I fit. Uh, a semi holo or a hollow body guitar in my case it's my 335 and on the back side there's you can maybe see here is pretty much the split on the back side on this side there can be an yeah a solid body guitar this thing is quite heavy as it is <laughs> like this but it's fully loaded it's full yeah almost fully loaded almost. <laughs> don't have much in the upper compartment. Ah, there's a oh, let's yeah, separate compartment here. Yeah, it's about yeah. goes like up till here. Yeah, there's a hook over here with which you can hang the gig bag or the case in a closet, and as well use it with a case uh, case scale. Uh, it's space for your mobile phone. For uh, there's a are several compartments in it yep. for pens and so on the larger one down here i expected it to fit a notebook but what it fits is two bottles of whiskey i prefer the whiskey <laughs> but that's just my personal opinion no, depending um, on the shape there are you you can fit of course uh music sheets books yeah. And Obviously. smaller laptops. We tried with my 13.3 inch laptop that one fits in without yeah. a sleeve or something. Just the laptop that fits in. A bigger laptop like 15 point something yeah. inch doesn't fit in. I, I, try, I was expecting it to fit my work notebook which is about 15.4 inch. Yeah. And we'll insert a picture. It's just about this little bit too... Uh, yeah, the compartment is too small for this. The width would work, but the length does not. Okay. Yeah. Which is a little disappointing because when we're having a look at it, you see, there would be enough space to go a little up here. But yeah, Mono sells uh, extra cases. This is where these buckles, let's show it again. Okay. There and you are can... these buckles where you can attach a separate case. This is the first point of critique for me. This thing, if it's just a tad larger, mm -hmm. it would fit a notebook fine and yeah, that, that would be great. But the padding on the outside, that feels it's good. all very good quality. Uh, you have an additional small bag in here when you, where you can separate stuff. Mm -hmm. There is this velcro oh, for cable maybe for the cable exactly oh. so you can uh, store it without tangling everything up so there's that for that compartment are there any more on the side i guess no not. there's nothing else how does on the, the side? how does the bottom look because i mm. saw some which have it looks like like a car tire almost yeah that's not the case with this one okay you just have those two pads over here mm -hmm. Wow, what a, but still it feels yeah it's it's really it's really solid solid and yeah, sturdy a little disappointing although it, it does i have read that many of these cases especially the one with the yeah 
let's call it the tire construction on the mm -hmm. bottom, they stand on their own if you place them ah. upright. Okay. Yeah, this one. This is not the case with this one. True. Falls Even over. though it's a really uh, big and fat case with a with a lot of surface underneath, yeah, it does not stand like this. Looks like it's too round. Yeah, it's too round on the on the bottom side. Mm. If you're going with the back side, I have still <laughs> both guitars in it with which I came here. Um, only the whiskey is out. Only the whiskey is now out. Yeah, there is one compartment here on the back side as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I wouldn't place a notebook in here because then you have it's it right in your in your, in your back. It's um, way too hard. This one is, yeah, probably for sheet music or something like this. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I would place in here. Although the the size may be enough to to fit the larger notebook. Yeah, we can try with my. 13.3 inch. Yep. Let's see. Should we know? That should be. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's pretty, pretty yeah. hard to get in and out. That's yeah, what she so, said. So, so the, so the fifth, so the 15 inch one will probably also not fit properly in here. Mm. So yeah, there's that, and aside from that, it's most likely not comfortable. No. Speaking about comfort, the pads are fairly good over here on that one, but uh, I still have to critique the design over here mm -hmm. because this thing is hefty. <laughs> I mean, uh, with both guitars, they are already at seven kilograms. It's easily above 10 kilos. So it's easily above 10 kilograms because yeah. this thing is really robust. With this, you have a lot of weight and the weight distribution of the guitars having two next to each other uh, they really pull on your neck mm -hmm. and like this without a waist belt on it like on yeah pretty much any good uh, backpack yeah for hiking for hiking always that, have yeah that we are for the we're chest using. and the waist it's a lot of stress on the neck so um, that would be one point they could improve on they, to add yeah, a, a wrist, a, uh, not a, a wrist, a, a waist, waist, a waist belt, belt over here. Um, yeah, because the walk over here was like 15 minutes, something like this. And you 12, had 12 to 15, 12 minutes. To 15 minutes. Usually it's 1.5 kilometers. Yeah. And when I came here, I <laughs> felt it quite a bit already yeah. in my shoulders. And yeah. I think this thing is designed to have two guitars. It's obviously gonna be heavy. Yeah. And then there's something where you can put in this additional thought. So Mono, if you ever see this, I would love to see an updated version with a waist belt. Mm -hmm. So it's better for people that are walking to the yeah, not just yeah. taking it Practice from the car to the, the rehearsal, yeah, oh. not just from from the car or in an airport where you probably place it then on a cart or somewhere, yeah, because for that I can also use a normal case. Which so yeah, side do you want to start, semi hollow or solid body? Let's start with the semi hollow. Okay, okay. <laughs> because that one is easier to open, like this. To show, so here you can see my. Three oh, it can't fall out. Head. It can't fall out. That's cool. There is, uh, how do they call it? It's written over here somewhere. The uh, headlock. The headlock system. They have patented it. That's really good. And yeah, it's really securing the guitar in here really well. You see, I have to lift it out. What I immediately noticed is this is extremely thick. The outside layer. Yeah. It's a let's couple of centimeters. Try to. Get it to it's the really camera. This is good material. Probably three centimeters, something like this. Yeah, good thickness for sure. Yeah. And on the side as well. That's what it's it. It's, <laughs> it's the second one already. <laughs> it's a little bit thicker up here, but nevertheless, feels really good. And yeah. the material is overall nice. It's like this gray plush. Yeah. 
and also nice. on the sides. So you can imagine the case itself uh, okay, weighs it's already quite a bit. So oh yeah, this feels also very good. So let's get my three, three, five out of the way. <laughs> cool. But you you don't you have two zippers. Ah oh, yeah. But Over here. I think the guitar it's definitely very secure in this gig bag. Yeah. It's or case. Yeah. I always what, call it kickback because you can carry it like a like a yeah. backpack. Um, I think Mono will not be too pleased with us calling it a kickback. Yeah, we're not paid. I've paid for this <laughs> myself, True. so I call it whatever I want. <laughs> it's my kickback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So solid body side. Solid body side. Ah, the PRS uh, style. PRS cool. style kit over here once again. The padding it's is about the same. About the same. The headlock as well. By the both construction. sides. It's not as deep in here, obviously, for a solid body. Cool. Fits that one just fine. I've also tried ah. using the 335 in that one. Okay. And yeah, with a little wiggle, it's just barely goes inside yeah. it, it you would have it's not ideal it's not ideal you have a have it bulged over here yeah uh, it's not ideal um, but you can close it so yeah in theory I would say you could also fit two semi hollows like a 335. Um, or or a, a thicker chess box on the other side, obviously. Yeah, okay. that would be so would also fit nicely. So maybe I'll get tempted to buy the solid body mono case at some point as well, mm -hmm. just for lighter usage with just one guitar. Yeah, uh, it's obviously if we are looking at it, it would be way slimmer than this as it looks uh, 335 might work in there as well or you just buy a semi hollow single and you can fit the prs uh, strats tellies as well in yeah but i don't think it's necessary i i yeah. I'll probably take the risk uh, mm -hmm. because with the, i think this this one for for semi hollow is more also con uh, a concept for ho full hollow body guitars as well for chess boxes like which thickens. are mm -hmm. much thicker than uh, than your 335 or 339 in that case yeah. the zipper over here if you hold it it's yeah it's not it's, gonna break on you that's metal yeah. over here so the the uh, yeah it's not made out of the handle of the of the zipper it's it's, it's not made out of chinesium no, that, that, that thing is <laughs> certainly robust. Yeah. Also, the zipper itself looks like good quality. Did you see a tag where it's made? Oh, good question. What does it say here? Uh, designed in California. Mm -hmm. made, made in China. China. Made in China, okay. okay. It's like, the, like, like Apple. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, uh, those buckles over here. Mm -hmm. UTX, um, yeah, it's good quality plastic over here. That's, oh yeah, that feels high I've, quality for sure. Uh, I've had uh, cases and uh, backpacks with worse buckles. Getting what? getting in the rain without an umbrella would be no issue as well. Yeah. I would say with this material, it's definitely uh, waterproof yeah. to a certain extent. What I like is how these hooks are constructed you have metal over here and they really grab over over this part over here so it's you won't get it open just by itself so it's it's those those look really good and secure mm -hmm. and you have good grip over here oh yeah that's nice plastics over there yeah it's not slip slipping under your finger or anything yeah so all together the, the build quality is great. Yeah, I agree. So we talked about the many positive things of this case. Yeah. We talked about 
two negative things. Uh, what I would be interested now in is uh, the price. How much did you pay for this? I paid for this one 325 euros. Mm -hmm. Which is a lot. Is a lot, but then again, you have to think this is a case slash kickback for two guitars and not just for one. The single cases they have, I checked recently, are also above 200 euro. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... But if you, yeah. if you compare it with a Gibson case, for example, mm -hmm. or a Gibson gig bag, if we're going by the prices they have on the Gibson homepage, mm -hmm. those are $200 yeah. as well. And the yeah, street price is a little less than 150, something like this. Yeah. So, yeah. And it happens that we have such gig bags right here for comparison. We have four different kinds of gig bags that are, or that came included with the guitars. Let's, just for a comparison to a mono case like this one. The first one, this is a very thin one. We could, it's not really a bag. Let's call it a, a sleeve or a dust cover. It's just you can transport the guitar and that's about it. And this one came included with a very affordable Fender acoustic. Then we have the standard Fender Deluxe gig bag. Yeah. These are, I think, for most of the Mexican guitars. It came yeah. with the Baja, it came with the Road Worn, yes. with the Meteora as well, I think. You have a compartment here, which is pretty nice and big enough for sheet music and stuff like that, but not for laptops. Oh, and That's I cool. have a cable in there. And yeah, obviously for one solid body guitar, the padding is, it's a, a little level of padding or, or it's yeah, not it, thick, it's not sturdy. It will not protect the guitar just much. It's no, it's not really a, a lot of protection. You, you can, uh, the handle here, uh, it's pretty nice and you can use it over your shoulders, but there's again, no, uh, waist or even a chest belt it's of course it's not free it just comes included with the guitar you obviously pay for it as well it's yeah. just included in the price and yeah it's not terrible but it's not good either yeah then a uh, level above that is the prs se gig bag this one is included with your yeah, i think most se's at least the custom i'm not sure if they come with the uh, standards as well. They are nicer than the Fender ones, I think, but I had a problem. I have two of these that uh, one of the, what's it called? Zipper, the zipper broke here. So the metal is not as high quality as on the mono case, but you have a nice handle here. Again, enough space for sheet music, cables and stuff uh, right here. And yeah, of course, this one is also, I think, nicer than on the Fender one. Yeah. It's just, when you, when you carry it along, it's, it's nicer. Better Feels padding. Better padding as well. And the thickness overall as well. It's, overall, it's just more high quality. And the cool feature is this hidden hook to hang it in. A the last gig bag, which is, or, almost like a case as well is the one that came with my sg standard you have a relatively big compartment here but it's no uh, no separate parts uh, or compartments for any smaller uh, items or strings whatever uh, but here the padding is much nicer and you also have this for the guitar neck and a velcro to fix it secure, to secure, secure it neck. So this one and the thickness, I would say it's comparable yeah. to the mono. Not the top part, but the side yeah, for the, sure. The side, uh, not on the bottom. Oh, not on the bottom. Not on the bottom. Here, just, on, here I think the, just the side, side. Yeah. just the side. And the Which is interesting. I would, I would guess that you'd secure the bottom a little more than the side. Yeah, at the top as well. Yeah. And you just, on this particular one, only one. So it's not really like a um like a, back, like a backpack it's just to carry along certainly not ideal yeah. for longer distances if if there's a heavy guitar a heavy sol heavy solid body in there but yeah a similar gibson one we checked is street price you mentioned it around 150. so martin what's your verdict on this mono case 
Well, it's a lot of money for such a case. Sure. Um, yeah, but altogether, when looking at the other options mm -hmm. with such, let's call them gig bags, which you can put around your shoulder, <laughs> uh, I think it's not that uh, it's not overpriced mm -hmm. because you get really good quality. Yeah. And there are plenty of videos out there to demonstrate how much abuse those things can handle. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think those speak for themselves. Um, other than that, yeah, if you're looking at such a Gibson gig bag and so on, and you would need to have two. And when going for to a gig, uh, usually at least i would take two guitars or i take two guitars a backup, just a backup a different tuning a different tuning yeah single so, coil and humbucker whatever so yeah so the, for that it's uh, a real big plus to just have everything in, in that one gig bag to carry around plus that, uh, plus, plus cables, cables strings strings everything oh. has space in here i think Especially for uh, that with the double case, the price is fair. The thing that bothers me a bit is really that it does not have a waist belt. No. Because, so, yeah, it's really, it's really heavy. And uh, the straps up here, at least for me with my size, um, are not that comfortable to, uh, yeah, to compensate this. Mm -hmm. They are not not bad by any means but it's just uh it's just a large weight with a lot of leverage uh, due to the size of the guitar due yeah. to the thickness of everything a lot of weight with three to five is really far behind of yeah. my back so it's pulling over here with a lot of leverage mm -hmm. this is something that can especially on that uh, two guitar model be improved this is uh yeah this is something I could have known beforehand. It's hard to tell in advance. Yeah, you're not really thinking of this when, when buying such a gig no. bag. And I thought, yeah, I can just take two at once and mm. um, yeah, make use of this that I, that I can take two guitars yeah. with me also when gigging. It has smart features. It has smart features. Very and sturdy, as we mentioned sturdy uh lots of space yeah. i mean yeah two whiskey bottles on top of the guitars on top of the guitar yeah that's cool <laughs> that's cool <laughs> well priorities <Yeah. laughs> who needs shit music anyway <laughs> yeah. no, just kidding yeah would you personally spend over 300 bucks on a guitar case leave a comment down below we would really like to know or are you happy with the ones that came with your guitar the gig bags or cases after seeing this one, Lucas, what do you think? I might check out the single guitar cases by Mono, but yeah, uh, I'd be really maybe interested. maybe we can have a look after filming this video and may both find one for a single guitar. <laughs> Let's check them out. I'll let you get the single one and test if the three three five fits inside. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sounds like a good plan for you. <laughs> Anyway, thanks very much for staying with us, guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.